What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I want to show you this box. It's not just a box. It's something special. I just ordered it, and I'm uh, pretty excited to share it with you. It smells great. It actually smells like uh, a lumber yard, and I really like it. Nothing like a handcrafted piece of equipment to kind of liven up your home. Now, I want to tell you that this is one of those things I did not get on Amazon. I got it on Etsy from a company you know, or a shop called Liberty Concealed out of Missouri, and uh, this is actually custom partially this is actually a concealment box that this gentleman i think makes um but he actually makes it with a lot of dis different designs printed on them and i asked for one that was just blank i just wanted the box exactly as he made it because it has all the features that i was looking for but with a blank face because i didn't uh, want anything printed on the front and they were able he was able to do that and not only that but i really expected this thing to take a long time to get and i will tell you that it took me eight days from order to delivery and so not only did he do exactly what I wanted, which was to char the outside like that, I really liked it, um, and get this delivered to me, but uh, it was all, it was quick, far better than I expected. And so I'm really impressed with it. Now, I have only kind of taken a cursory look at it, so we're gonna really discover this together, but I just unboxed it, and this is what we get. We get a box here, which is, um, I'll give you some measurements here, which isn't that big, but it is a concealment box. So if you're a two-way guy, you have something that you'd like to uh, secure in your house, you know, this could serve a lot of different purposes. Uh, it's 15 inches, 15 inches wide by 15 inches tall, which is actually a perfect square, which is actually one thing that was one of my requirements here. But even on the thickness, it's not really that thick. So it's only three and a half inches thick, not even just a smidge under three and a half inches total from front to back here. So it's not that thick. Now you could mount this into drywall, cut a hole out of drywall, kind of flush mount it so it would even look thinner or maybe just have the front edge um, you know, sticking out from the wall so it almost looks like just a piece of wood attached to the wall. Uh, I don't need to do that, and especially given that it's only three and a half inches, it's really, really thin. Now, the other thing I would say is that, you know, it's attached uh, and assembled here mostly with staples, um, but then what he's done here is he's kind of torched, uh, kind of given it a once over on all the sides with the torch, and it's given this really, you know, beautiful kind of deep look. I really like kind of the, the contrast on the grain. The other thing I will say here is that, and what was a separator for me over a lot of other concealed boxes, as you can see, the back is totally enclosed. So we have a piece of wood here that encloses it. Now, on a lot of these concealed boxes are just kind of the frame. And so if you were to rip it off the wall, you know, even though I'm not saying this is a safe by any means, um, if you were to take it off the wall or unbolt it from the wall, this is often open. And so when anything, anything that you have inside, um, let's say it's a firearm to money to titles to your car to your passports or whatever it might be you know are going to be readily available and so sometimes it's just as easy as taking off and taking the stuff from inside the real reason these things are valuable or for security purposes is that they just don't look like a place you would hide valuables and so kind of keeping this as subtle and as far as matching of your normal decor as possible is kind of most important because I could certainly break this open, but I do like the fact that it is sealed all the way in the back. All right, now let's get to the front here because this is where the real magic is. As you can see, and, and I wanna show you this side because the hinge on this door is on this side, but it's an internal hinge. It's like a cabinet hinge, right? And that was also important to me because a lot of guys will use like a piano hinge here or a standard like gate hinge. And then you can see that hinge on the outside. And so it also screams if you see it and you see those hinges on the outside, you say, hey, this is something that's meant to be open. It looks like a chest or a toy chest or something like that. But when you have these types of hinges on the inside that articulate um, to kind of move the door out in a way, you have a very, very clean look, you know, all the way around, you know, even where it actually pivots. I also noticed that he included this nice little letter, Liberty Home Concealment, Norwood, Missouri. Some instructions on how to mount it, some safety warnings, limited warranty, mission statement from Liberty Home Concealment, so really excited about that. And uh, he's also very, very clever, uh, you know, just really nice craftsmanship. I will, I will just show you this door here. I don't know if you can see it here, but what we have is, um, you know, uh, holes drilled where the screws are holding the boards together. Everything is countersunk, so you don't have any uh, screws, you know, popping out. Uh, being visible, which is really nice. It's kind of a nice attention to detail. We even have some what looks like closed cell foam in here. It's really tight. It does not appear to be glued in because it looks like I can pull it out. 
So if you wanted to have something deeper in here, let me just give you a dimension on how deep it is to the front from that back. It's about two and a half inches. So you're not gonna want anything deeper than two and a half inches. And the other thing is you're gonna have it a little less um, volume up at the top and the bottom where you have these support crossbars in. So you're gonna have the full two and a half inches down here in the middle. So if you wanna cut out the foam, and then put something in of that particular shape and fit it in the foam, that's great. Or if you want to uh, put in a magnet, you know, to hold something that's metal, uh, keep it in place, you could certainly do that too. Now, obviously, like I said, uh, pretty clever. Um, and he was definitely thinking because what you can see right here is we have a little cabinet latch and it's basically a magnetic safety latch and the latch is taped down. So that was <laughs> nicely done. It says, please don't remove because now I'm gonna remove it. And that's gonna release this latch and this is one of those magnetic safety latches. You, I also did get the key for it, which is kind of funny because, uh, again, more attention to detail, but if you look at the magnetic key, he, he put a little Liberty Home concealment sticker on it. So this latch has nothing visible on the outside. There's a sticker right here that says place the key there. And when you place the key there, that latch is going to retract. And that's what you can even see that the key will stick there when it's um, retracting that latch. So I want to show you here. If I close it up now, that latch has closed and this thing will not open. There's a little play in it, but it's not opening, right? Now if I take the key, put it there, now I can open this sucker up. So that's really the security, and the security is that no one knows that this opens, no visible, no visible hinges, and then you would take this off too, so that it doesn't say to place a key there. And then that's where you, that's how you're gonna know, only you is gonna know where that key is supposed to go, and then you would be able to open it up. So the security is in the knowledge, right? And we know that knowing is half the battle. It also comes with five long wood screws here. So what I think you would do is open this up, mount this to say studs in the wall, right through here on this backboard and mount it to your wall. I think this would look great. I even love the fact that he charred the inside of it. That is that is really just fantastic. So this is really, a, I really, really, really like this piece. I'm really grateful um, that he was able not only to build it to my specs, customize it just a little bit for me, but uh, to get it to me so quickly. Um, a lot of times, you know, the Etsy, Etsy shops, you just have to be hmm, realistic that a lot of times these guys are doing it uh, part time, you know, and they don't have uh, time to necessarily work on it real time. And you're going to take a while to get it, take a while to get it shipped to you. But this one was, man, um, it was literally like ordering from Amazon. I like it. It also gives you the ability to put whatever you want on the front here. Paint something, uh, put a decal on there, you know, dress it up to match your own uh, decor. Now, the other thing I wanna mention here is the price point on this sucker. So I looked around at various boxes and this one had a lot of the features that I liked. No visible hinges, magnetic lock, fully enclosed and boxed in in the back. And that put this price point at what I think is an incredibly fair $80. Now shipping was about $20, so all in I was about $110 on this. But man, for what I see here, I am just tickled pink uh, with this. This is absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna put a link to this uh, Etsy shop, Liberty Home Concealed, in the link below. And I will also put a link to some other concealment devices. You know, there's a number of things built for the home, whether it's mirrors, end tables, coffee tables, tissue boxes. You know, if you wanna hide stuff, you absolutely can do it with this. Now you might be saying, Pete, why do you have, why did you take this? Why did you uh, need something to hide? Well, let me show you. Um, there we go. Because, the valuables that are most important to you seem to get snatched. You know, people just can't help themselves. So things like caramel M&Ms here, um, you know, uh, raisinets, very, very quick to go. Goobers, right? These are all very, very uh, hot items. Uh, Nestle Crunch Dark, Nestle Crunch Milk Chocolate. I mean, where, where else are you gonna put all this stuff, right? It's better to have Nestle uh, and not need it than to need it and not have it. Check it out. Peter Von Panda, out.